sugar pups. I hope you have a nice day. Today's look is a bit of a daytime look. Um, and I know to some of you that might not be a daytime look, but to me that is a very daytime look. Um, I've used today Sonia Kashak's um, Ion Neutral Palette. Um, like I said in my haul, I love it. Um, I think it's a fantastic palette for uh, more mature eyes and you can do so many looks with it. You could go very, very light or you could go very, very smoky. Um, so with this look, I just used this palette. I haven't even used um, any liner. Um, I used the shadow as a liner and mascara. And let me know, I'm, I'm filming here today um, on my Mac, so it's not with my uh, normal camera. Let me know how that looks, if you can see it very well. Sometimes I have to do it here, so, um, because of the lighting. You, you know, I'm not professional, I don't have all the lighting set up and everything. I, I rely a lot on the daylight, so, but if, if it's measurable outside or depends which side of the house sun, the sun is, that's where I have to film. So I hope you will see this okay. Um, it's impossible with this camera to zoom like with a normal camera, but I bring the screen a bit closer. So if you want to see how it's done, keep on watching. Okay, so I am going to start with MAC Bear Study as my primer. I really like using um, the paint pots or even colour tattoos from Maybelline as um, primer. And with a little brush I am going to put some underneath as well. Okay. Now I am going to take this one. So when you've got a palette that way, it is this one. It's like a peachy colour. And I'm going to put it all over my lid. Now I am going to take this colour in the second row, the darkest one. Take a little crease brush. And again, look forward, decide where your crease is, somewhere here. Okay. Now I'm taking the Real Technique. So shading brush I believe that is, yes shading brush and I'm going to use yes this darkest brown in a third row and I am just going to concentrate on this corner so sort of join join it with your crease just very lightly in a corner just want to concentrate so the smaller the smaller brush the better now take some small pencil brush um, and put that shade all the way underneath the same shade I just did the crease with. It's like a quite warm warm bronze, it just gives a bit of warmth under your eye. 
and now I'm taking the fluffy slanted brush and I'm going to put a bit of dark just to darken that corner I know I'm trying to do it as more of a day look but remember with hooded eyes you do want to always put emphasis on that corner so you lift it up so just across the lash line just here a bit here can you see what I'm doing and then I take blending brush and so sort of blend it that way and into your crease. And now I do a tiny bit more of the black, just in the very, very corner. And with this palette, because it is so pigmented, you just have to touch it and the rest you do with your blending brush. And now I'm going to take one of those brow brushes, go into this black and just put a tiny line just like that, not further up. under my lower lash line. Oh, wrong brush. So just this corner is the darkest bit. Now I am going to go back with my flat brush and go to the lightest one and go over just here in the middle. just opens it up a bit and the last bit another crease brush and I'm going to go into this one which is like a um, peachy fleshy tone just to soften this so it's a bit like a transition color And then again into that light one to highlight the brow bone. And you can go a bit here in the corners. And now I'm not even using as to me this is very daylight. I know to some of you it might still seem like a going out makeup, but to me that's daylight. Um I'm going to take again one of these and I will go to the dark brown and do my line with the dark brown. I'm sorry. So I'm not using black eyeliner. I'm doing it all with that palette, all with the eyeshadows. So to soften this a bit so it's not too harsh and now what is left mascara and for my mascara I'm going to use my new bourgeois twist up volume so first I go into it with the wand like this To be careful this mascara is quite wet and now I'm going I'm going to twist the wand and go over that's supposed to add volume so the first one is for 
length and that one is for volume. You have to be very, very careful because when I do my bottom lashes and I blink, I get mascara under my eyes. And now for my lips, I will do lip liner with L'Oreal Rosewood. This is like my go-to lip liner. You don't have to do lip liner. Fill my lips a bit. And for my lipstick, something I haven't used for ages is MAC Angel. I used to love it, as you can see. I've got just stub, stub left. Very lovely pink. So that is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Um, um, to me that is quite day, day wear makeup, daytime makeup. Uh, to some of you that could be still too strong. And I will try to do a bit more natural looks. Um, I just have to retrain my brain really because um, I do like a strong eye, I think. Eyes are the first thing people look at, therefore you have to make the best out of them. So um, I understand that a lot of you might not like very strong makeup, so I will really, really try to do a bit, um, few more natural looks. I hope you enjoy that and I see you soon. Bye.